All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up a full broadcasting setup so that you can stream to your fans full quality, looking professional, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through on how I set up these sorts of things. So first thing you're going to want to do is go onto your web browser and search up OBS. Now that's a software, that's an open broadcaster software that's free. You're going to want to download that and that's going to be the interface that you use for your broadcasting. It's kind of like the main window that everything goes to and points to. So here you're going to download your installer, whether your Windows or Mac, you're going to do that. You're going to select that up here. And then once you're done doing that, you're going to want to go to, and, and I'll put all these links in the description, by the way, so you don't have to actually type them in. You can just go to the the description and, and click the links. Um, but you're going to want to download Soundflower. And you're going to go over here, click this teal button, download that. So basically, once you have those downloaded, um, you're going to want to open OBS. And that's the first thing I got right here. Boom. All right, so this is kind of what OBS looks like. This is your interface. You can see I got multiple things like webcam, video capture device. I got uh, audio capture for my DDJ, blah, blah, blah. So I have all these different things that I'm hiding, right? So what you're going to do is after you've downloaded Soundflower and after you've downloaded OBS, you're going to go into your audio MIDI setup and you're going to create what's called a multi-output device. So come down, click this plus button, create multi-output device, and you're going to see here's my interface. That's my Sapphire. You're going to choose Soundflower to channel as well. So now it's the, the audio is coming out of my Sapphire as well as being sent to this Soundflower 2 channel. And I'll show you why we want to do that. You can go ahead, select it, and then you can X out of it. So the first thing you're going to want to do to get audio is go into your DAW. I'm using Ableton Live. And so you'll go into your preferences, and you'll set your audio output device as that multi-output device. Right? You'll have your input as your interface. Mine is the Sapphire. Um, and then you'll have your output as a multi-output. So with that multi-output, you'll be able to hear all your sound coming out of your speakers as well as being have it sent to the OBS. With OBS, you can then create a new source, have it audio input capture, hit OK, device, and then you would go to Soundflower to channel. And that's going to take the audio from your interface. So to create video, what you'll do is you'll hit Add down here, and you'll hit Video Capture Device. Right? So Video Capture Device, just hit OK. Right? And you'll select your device. So for me, I got my C922 webcam. Go ahead, click that. Ooh, there I am. Hit OK. And now you can set this up with however many webcams you want. If you have four band members, you could set up four webcams, all linking them together with something like a USB extender, right? It's USB into your computer, and then, you know, kind of like an extender out. So you can connect it, daisy chain them, and have them all over the room. Um, while everyone's playing their instruments into the interface, you can also have multiple webcams facing your bandmates. And so you would just add new video in there, and then you could create some sort of quadrant, right? So you got your audio, you got your video, everything's looking good, everything's sounding good. How are we going to stream live? Well, for starts, if you don't even want to stream and you just want to record videos, you could just hit this button right here um, and start recording and then upload your videos to YouTube or Facebook, however you want to do it. Let's say you do want to stream live. The first thing you'll do is hop online. You'll go to this website right here. It's facebook.com slash live slash create. And once it loads, you'll be able to hit this Create Live Stream button, right? And so the first thing you'll do is hit this Copy for the server URL. You'll copy that. You go into OBS, go into OBS Preferences, hit Stream, and then you'll paste that into your server. 
So you'll paste the server into the server, and then you'll do the same thing for the stream key. You'll hit copy, you go into your OBS, and paste that into your stream key. And then you'll hit apply. If you don't hit apply, nothing will happen. Then you hit OK. So then what you're going to do, hit start streaming. The reason why we're going to hit start streaming, it doesn't start your stream right away. It just sends the signal to Facebook now. So now Facebook is going to get the signal saying, oh, look at that, you're streaming to us. And just in a moment, it's going to pop up and it's going to say, oh, look, see, it's these event logs. It's getting it's getting the, the video stream. And it's going to show you exactly what it's showing on my screen. You go here, you type in, ooh, live video. Woohoo. And then you can share on your timeline, you can change your settings, you can tag people, um, you can add a title, you can do all this fun stuff that gets people going crazy. And from there, you just hit go live and you're ready to go. It's going to have your full audio, it's going to have all your video that you set up in this screen. And from there, you just perform, you do the rest, you do what you guys do best. And that right there is how you get a basic streaming setup in full quality, full fidelity for Facebook, Twitch, whatever you guys want to stream to. There's there's multiple different platforms. Um, but OBS and Soundflower are the main things that you're going to need to download to be able to interface all these things together. So if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys think this really helped out, I would really appreciate a like. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this to help you guys out, to help help those home musicians now who can't make it out and do live gigs to be able to do things at home and prepare themselves for that at-home streaming game. And even after this whole mania passes, you guys will still be able to use this to reach your fans and to be able to communicate to people on the internet. Anyways, thank you guys, and good luck out there.